weather's always the X factor. It's the one thing we can't control. I think our general philosophy is just be prepared and be ready. The vibe totally changed. We're there for a park shoot and all of a sudden we're like going out skiing pow. It was really uh, great for the, the vibe, the dynamic. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> Provided such a well-rounded variation for the trip. We all kind of started to get into sync as to what would work with the Phantom capturing these, these really finite moments. There was this tree that had a bunch of snow on it. Sage was like, I'm just gonna go up and smack that with my skis. And you get to see the skis come into frame and smack the tree and the snow react and fly off. It's a really cool, unique thing. You have plan A, B, C, and D. And at the end of the day, I think Mother Nature makes the decision on which plan we're gonna enact. Finally got a beautiful bluebird day, calm winds. Just checking out the uh, XL 100 footer here. We've been looking at this jump for days. It took a little retooling to make it doable. We're gonna do some catching up on the landing. Just kinda starting to get it dialed. Sun came out, no wind. We just uh, brought the heli out, as you might be able to hear, but uh, hitting the big jump. We have one day to get this big jump. This is it. Just get this session rolling, get the ball rolling, get it going. It was really an adjustment. Working with the Phantom Cam, you really had to rethink how you thought of shots. As skiers, we're often thinking about a, a line or a jump or a move, and you're, and you're thinking about a window of real time that's anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 seconds. With the Phantom, you're thinking like micro pieces of seconds. It can provide just an amazing like cinematic experience. Just finished up with a pretty good session here. I think we got some pretty sick shots. And that kind of wrapped up the trip and it just really like provided the closure that we needed for a huge success.